Kid Wire opens up on his one true love. Hello guys, welcome back to Daily Happenings. How have we been? Hope we're having a really, really great time and hope our week has been going great. All right guys, if you're new to this channel and you've not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Please hit the red subscribe button below. Doesn't cost anything, just hit it. Then hit the push notification bell on this channel so that you'll be the first to get updates as we keep dropping each and every time all right let's get to the business of the day now the former big brother niger housemate and the billionaire son kidwire actually set up um a question and answer session on his official social media page that's instagram to be precise and he told a lot of people to ask him some questions on concerning relationship today he said he wanted to do a relationship talk and um so many questions were posed to him which i'll be reading each and every one there are so many yeah so the first one said i want to have a private relationship but my man is the opposite what do i do and um kid wire replied that he has to respect and most importantly understand your pace at which you want the relationship to go you both really need to be in sync there's nothing harmless about having a private relationship have a talk with him and tell him the real reason why you want to stay private and before you guys leave the room make sure you are both in sync then another said i sometimes feel not being loved by my hobby hobby there means husband and um kid wire responded that men and women both love differently there's a few things you need to learn there's a few things you need to there's a few things you need to ask yourself number one have you taught him how to love number two maybe he does love you just not in the way you want him to number three does he know how to love a lot of men don't most of us need guidance it doesn't mean we don't love you and he gave a suggestion to her he said show him how to love show him how it feels to be loved do that for a week maybe he'll pick up a few techniques another said if your partner is giving you excuse anytime you try to visit him what does that mean please and kidwire responded that maybe you guys need to become best friends first there is some important question you need to ask yourself number one do you have things in common number two do you have fun when you are together number three what's currently holding your relationship what's currently holding your relationship together number four ask him the comfortable question why don't you like having me around another came another came by um someone say i'm bent i'm still bent on my ex he's been four months and he said three things you should focus on making money your body your career women love a successful man let her notice you can Another said, how can one get over someone they truly love, which the other doesn't care? And he responded, he said, you never really get over people you love. You just learn to love them a bit less as time goes on. You need to align your focus with something else. Try these three things. One, hit the gym. Two, try dating again. Three, focus on your career. Remember, time is time is the best time is the best healer another said he doesn't give me attention how can i get his full attention because that's my love language he thinks it's money and he put a picture of focus for her on his page and he said give him some t something to pay attention about what are you doing that other girls ain't let's let's be for real man have lack of man have a lack of attention you aren't abused like women you have to keep us entertained honestly love isn't enough do you make him laugh do you spoil him 
Are you successful? Is the relationship one-sided? Someone asks, how long should a relationship last? And uh, Kidwaya placed one of the photo of his brand, that's Durex. And he said, with the right condom, a long time. Just joking though. And uh, another said, my boyfriend is always uncomfortable when I'm around his friends. Why so? He said, the old me would have said he has something to hide. Or maybe he just doesn't like you enough now when I say like I mean as friends not as a lover maybe you bore him do you guys have things in common but should also ask him why another said I don't have a relationship I'm not into any men don't ask me out sometimes I feel frustrated it's real he said honestly you are lucky they don't. It will give you time to work on yourself. Men and women are distractions. Wow, that's strong. Another said, me, my own is, I want to give love a second chance and I want you. Said, the list is very long for me. I only have my eyes on one person. Wow. He said he has his eyes on one person, so you should know. Another said, I've actually been loved back. I'm beautiful, but guys just want sex, then disappear. So, so flip the script and change the narrative. Take love out of the equation. Look at guys to satisfy yourself. Convince yourself that you are in control, not them. Let him bend you over, and then after you're done, the satisfaction, put your shoes on, pick up your channel bag, then walk out the room. Don't forget to collect your pride on the way out. Another said, how do I handle a long distance relationship and don't make it still and boring? So I say, break out of the red panties on FaceTime. Say, my boyfriend has a baby mama. And uh, I sometimes feel like they are still together even though he says T. No, no, he says, are you looking to be baby mama number two? Wake up, my dear. The relationship sounds somehow already. That's that with his um, question and answer session. Believe me, more questions are still coming on the way. And uh, Kidwaya keeps on giving his own side of the response, which many people are taking advice from. And uh, hopefully it's it will be helpful in their life to actually help them actualize what they want to actualize in future for them but let's talk about erica now erica there was a video she shared some time back which i'll share once again where she was talking about how women can manage their money how women can actually come together to build themselves up and uh, make themselves more useful in the society it's a video she shared some time but i just deemed it necessary to actually share it again for us to watch and really have a good time together but let me say something before we go if you have not subscribed yet and you're still thinking about it please don't think about it no more just go down this video you'll see a red subscribe button please hit it so that you get amazing updates also for you to continually get sweet updates on our channel please hit the push notification bell so that you will also get that then um hit the like button if you like this video share your comments share our videos to your friends families loved ones and ha uh, as many as you can so that they will also get to see our content um first hand thank you so much guys for your time i hope you have a wonderful day and i know i will see you soon bye for now guys i feel like if women show themselves and sh like behave like oh we don't have that much we won't be able to demand much when we're asking for payment because they already they already believe oh, women should not earn that much so we should start showing that we have it and we're not getting it from a boyfriend or something 
well, there's nothing bad in getting from but, but like we have our own. <laughs> <laughs> you get like, yes, yes. We should also show that we have our own, so that they will have it in their heads that okay, yes, girls have their own money too. Like it is a normal thing to 